The Cabinet Secretary for Agriculture, Mithika Linturi, has announced that in the next six months, farmers will be able to buy fertilizer and even reduce price from the current 3,500 Kenya shillings following a memorandum of understanding between the Kenya, Zambian and Tanzanian governments that is meant to help Kenya in production of fertilizers. This comes a day after President Dr. William Ruto announced that the government has plans to use 12 billion Kenya shillings in fertilizer subsidies, which the Kenya Kwanza administration says is a sure way to achieve food security. In another six months, fertilizer tutapata na itakuwa imeteremuka zaindi ya chini ya ile 3,500 ambaye munalipa kwa ile mpango tuliona. Na nikitoka kutoka kule Zambia, tapeana leseni ya kwanza ya kuleta fertilizer sababu utafiti umetakeleswa, tumeangalia wakati raisi alinituma kule ndondoma kule Tanzania nikaenda. Nimeongea na serikali wa kule, fertilizer tumechukua, tumeifikisha kwa caps na kuingine na njana nimepata ripoti imepita. C.S. Linturi was speaking in Meru during a church service where he had accompanied First Lady Mama Rachel Ruto, Meru Governor Kawera Mwangaza, among other elected leaders from the Meru region. First Lady Mama Rachel Ruto at the same time called on Kenyans to fully engage themselves in the government's plan of planting 15 billion trees come the year 2032 to improve the country's forest cover as well as improve the rain situation in the country. Vizuri to linde mazingira yetu. Tumepatwa na janga la njaa. Pengine huku Meru sio mbaya sana. Lakini kuna sehemu nyingi Kenya ambaye tuko na shida ya njaa, haswa sehemu zile za asal, arid and semi arid lands. Na mheshimiwa Linturi tunashukuru Mungu kwa ajili Mungu amekupatia kazi ya kuweza kutusaidia mambo ya agriculture. Bila chakula watu wanaweza kutatizika sana. Na mheshimiwa rais amezindua mradi wa kuweza kupanda miti na amesema kwamba kufika miaka kumi 2023 to 2032 tutakuwa tumepanda miti bilioni 15. Bilioni tano katika hii miaka ya miaka tano ya kwanza na bilioni kumi katika ile miaka ingine ya also, Mama Ruto opined that this need to empower women in society, saying she has been a champion of women economic empowerment, a program that she claims has improved lives of many women across the nation for close to a decade. Kama vile mnajua, mimi napenda kina mama sana na kazi zangu nyingi ambazo nimefanya ni kusaidia kina mama. Tuko na kazi ya women economic empowerment ambayo tumeweza kufanya hapa Meru karibu miaka kumi sasa na mimi najua kwa uongozi wako governor tutashikana mkono ili tuhakikishe kwamba hawa kina mama pia wanaweza kufaidika. Regarding the Meru leadership, Meru Governor Kawera Mwangaza revealed that the executive and the county assembly are now seeing eye to eye and working together, this coming at the back of an enormous conflict between Mwangaza and the MCAs, which led to the attempted ouster of the county boss from office. <laughs> Governor Mwangaza's sentiments are shared by other leaders in the county. Wakati raizu wetu mpendwa, tulipo ongea na ee na kasema lazima kue na amani, Mama wa taifa, tuliweza kukutana na viongozi wote, tukiongozwa na waziri wetu wa kilimo, tukaongozwa na speaker wetu, tukaketi pamoja, tukasema kama wangwana. Na kama watu ambayo wamepatiwa wame jukumu la uongozi na wameru, ya liosipita si ndwere, tugange ya jayo. Meru, tunafurahia sana vile mambo ya naendelea. Your Excellency the Governor, we are very happy kwa kukamilisha yale mambo. Nilikuwa mmoja wapo wale waliketi pale tukazungumza tukafikiana kama 99%. Ikabaki tu 1%. Na ninajua mtu mmoja alisema ukitaka ya kusuluhu kwa jambo lolote lipe lile lipe muda. Tukaagana tukua wameru tupatie ili jambo muda. Kama wameru tunafurahi kwa sababu ya amani ambayo tunaenjoy hapa Meru kwa sababu palipo na amani kuna maendeleo kuna utenda kazi kuna forward movement na hivyo ndio tuko hapa Meru na tunashukuru kwa sababu wewe ni mmoja ambaye uliombea Meru ukikumbuka gavana wa Meru ni mama 
na najua ya kwamba you support women leadership na shukuru rais wetu William Ruto uh, the president of the, of the republic sababu ya ile amani mmetusaidia kuleta katika meru tulikuwa na mzozo kidogo kati ya bunge la meru na governor wetu lakini nataka kuhakikishia ya kwamba sasa kuna amani na sisi sote tuko nyuma ya mama